Welcome back everybody, welcome back to another Nvidia Shield video and this one is one which is extremely important. We're going to show you which settings you need to turn off, um, which settings which are either going to stop you being tracked, um, some tips which make, make your device run faster. These are the initial settings you need to do to work these devices and keep them running at their best and to keep you at your safest. So. This will work on NVIDIA Shield, Shield TVs, um, any version with the Android TV setup on the NVIDIA devices, no problem. Before we do that though, do remember to hit that subscribe button. We bring you every video here streaming related, whether it's Fire Stick, whether it's NVIDIA Shields, whether it's other devices, tech, apps, VPNs, the lot on one channel. And today, let's get it done. So, this is my NVIDIA Shield. We're going to crack straight on with it and let's just get over into the settings. Settings is where we're going to be for this video. So navigate to your settings, and we're going to start in device preferences, okay? There's a few things in here you can turn off um, just to keep yourself safe and to keep the device running better. First one we're going to go to, home screen, enable video previews, enable audio previews. This is a pet hate of mine. I hate it when I'm loading through something and a preview comes up, starts playing a video. Um, what that is instantly using is your data, uh, be instantly using your resources of your device. Um, so we can turn them straight off, okay? Get them turned off. Understand? It's up to you. If you might like the previews, for me, I hate it. Turn those ones off. Right. Next up, we're going to go down to usage and diagnostics. In here, this is where your usage information and diagnostics are sent to Google. So automatically send diagnostic information to Google, like crash reports, usage data from your device, apps, so it'll tell them what device, what you're using on your device, what apps you're using and how long for. Um, you can adjust these permissions at any time, la da 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 off. For me personally, I have that off. I don't want to be sending them any data, which is none of their business, off. Apart from that, there's not too many in here. Um, location's quite key. I hate location being on, so I turn it off full stop. A lot of apps might try and use location data. Um, I turn it off full stop. Um, again, optional, but why do they need my location data when I'm just watching something on TV? No thank you. Off, okay? Another thing we can do is if you go to About, go all the way down, where it says Build, click on that Build five times and you are now a developer, okay? So you click select on it five times and it opens up the developer menu for you. Um, useful, a few more little options in here which you wouldn't normally get. So now back on this screen, right at the bottom, we have developer options, which we didn't have before. So you can click that. So you've got your developer options in here. You may want to turn some of these off and on, but they're very interesting to have a real look at and see what you like. So take bug report by while pressing, stay awake, you can leave it on, uh, disable bundled shield accessories, I've got all of mine off, but you might want to turn a few on or off, but it's just a few more options in there. There's nothing I personally like having on. Um, mobile data always active, you could turn that one off if you didn't want it to connect to mobile data, if you're using other versions of the internet, um, like mobile hotspots or anything like that. But there's a lot more options in here which you didn't have before. But again, they're more for a few extra options for you rather than things you need to specifically turn off. Right, we've done a lot in here. Let me just check through. We've done everything I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, they're all off. Um, NVIDIA Share I turn off. You don't want it doing anything where it can share in the background. Under System. Storage. All good. Scan for media automatically to leave it off. Transfer files off. Transfer files off. You don't want anything over a local network being transferred. And also check your internal storage that you've got enough space left. If your internal storage, shared storage, is saying something like one gigabyte, that's getting very low and can stop streaming apps working. Because streaming apps, when you're streaming something, whether it's on an official app or an unofficial app, it will download a temporary file. Okay, That temporary file downloads on your system is what you watch. So you need to keep that enough space for that temporary file to download, especially if you're watching a really big file um, film with lots of um, lots of info in it really, so a big program, big movie, some of the big films can be up to 20, 30 gigabytes in size. 
If you're downloading a percentage of that, you need the space to do it. Okay, next up, we're going to go back and we're going to go to apps. So in here, I haven't got too many apps on there I want to have a look at in a minute. But what you can do is go to app permissions and just check what apps are having what. So four apps in here have got access to my phone. Okay, none of them need it because we're just in um we're just on a Nvidia Shield. So you can do, don't allow it if you want to. Just check what's on there, okay? I don't get it. Obviously, Google ones you're not going to be able to stop. Some have files and media. Some of these will need it, okay? Like gallery, of course it does. You need to be able to download. Um, downloader, you need to download, so it needs access to your files and media. And one has microphone, Play Store for talking, fine. But again, you may have more in there. Double check what permissions are being used. Special app access. Um, usage access is one to have a look at. So usage access allows an app to track what other apps are using and how often. Um, so in here, they will be tracking the usage information of those apps. None of these need to be on. Market feedback agent, package installer, I turn them all off. Okay, I'm going to leave package installer on um, because that does need access of some usage when it's installing. But again, you could turn it off. Notification access, not the end of the world. Everything else is okay. Security and restrictions. Make passwords visible. Nope. Allow blue, all Bluetooth pair requests. Nope. And Bluetooth privacy. It's up to you again. Um, needs a reboot after that one, so I'm going to leave it on for now. But you can turn it off again if you're not going to be changing things all the time. So leave that one on. Fairly good there. What you can also do then is in all your apps, you can look at them individually and see what permissions they have. And I'd also suggest on these um, is turning off your notifications. You don't want notifications coming through. So it's a bit of a pain on this because you have to go through one by one and turn off notifications. Some are off. Off. And some are beyond, okay? So just go through, check which are on and which are off. Okay, and also again, this is another great place you can check your permissions. Um, let's have a look at Plex permissions. It allows files and media. It will need files and media if you want to watch. So if your certain things aren't working, you can turn that one on. Allow while using the app. Obviously, it won't need your microphone. And it's just good to check these all through to what's using what. Obviously, you've got your official ones and things like that. Brilliant. All of those are the main settings you want to turn off. Another little quick tip which might help you speed up your device is on your home screen, if you double tap your home, it will also show you every app which is running in the background. So you can just dismiss them so you haven't got too much running in the background you don't need. So that's double tapping your home button, depending on which remote you're using. Whichever button is your home button, double tap it and it will bring things up. Okay? Simple. I hope they were useful for you. Before we leave, as always, if you can, do hit that subscribe button. Like I stated, we've got tons of other videos here. We do cover a lot of Fire Stick streaming, but we're also covering a bit of Netflix, um, NVIDIA Shield streaming now as well. And a quick word from one of our partners, IP Vanish VPN is linked directly underneath, as well as many other links to all my socials and my website for apps. So do check them out. This is an affiliated link, but if you are after a VPN um, to keep, keep yourself safe online, kind of what the video is all about, Check that one out directly underneath as well. Brilliant. I've been Doc Squiffy. This is the Doc Squiffy channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.